Welcome back AACPS staff. In this seventh video, we're going to begin talking about adding audio to a Wii video project. Now, if the Wii video that you are creating has audio in it already, for example, maybe you're just doing a screencasting of a presentation uh, for students or teachers to watch, that's already going to have the author narrating over it, in which case you would be done, you wouldn't need to make any changes to the audio. However, if you pull together a variety of different clips that you created or clips from WeVideo's stock media, what you may prefer to do is add an audio track to the entire thing when you're finished so that your audio is seamless instead of being cut together. You have two options over here on the left hand side of your storyboard area to add audio. The first option is simply to add an audio soundtrack, meaning music. So if it's just a series of steps and any sort of narration isn't going to enhance that, I can come here and I can choose from the free music that WeVideo has available so that I can just have something for my audience to listen to while they're watching the series of steps included in my video. But if what I really need is author narration over my video, I'm going to click on the microphone option down here. It is, of course, the first time going to prompt me to allow the microphone, so make sure you click on that. Then I have the option to choose to preview my video while I'm recording. This is an especially useful feature because it allows me to make sure that what I'm saying lines up to what's on the screen. I don't want to be talking about a certain part of the video if that part of the video hasn't come up yet. So I will turn on preview while recording, and then once I click on this microphone, you'll see that my video starts to play up in the right hand player area here. So if I click on my microphone to begin a recording, it gives me the countdown just as we expect in Wii Video. And here I am recording my audio while watching my video to make sure that everything aligns. When I'm finished, I click stop. I have the option here in the player to play it back before I decide if I'm satisfied with the audio. Once I've decided that it's good, I can click this checkbox over here on the left hand side to save my audio and add it to my project. Alright, check back in our final video in just a moment for how to finish a project.